Let's take these butternut squash and turn them into this beautiful soup. Mmm. Let's just dive right in. I've got these beautiful butternut squashes. All we're gonna do for prep is cut them in half, take out a little bit of the guts, a little bit of olive oil, and uh, into the smoker. I got it going already. I'm gonna keep it around 250 the best I can. This soup really has very few ingredients, which is why I like doing it, and uh, just haven't done it in a long time. And now the hard part is actually cutting these guys. Oh. Beautiful. Looks great. Smells good. I'm just we're gonna just take a spoon. Because we don't want these. Yeah, I'll clean up, don't worry. And I figured, let's get as much flavor as we can. We're gonna take this onion and we're also gonna smoke it. Got all that done. The only thing I'm gonna do is put a little bit of olive oil on them. We're not putting any salt, pepper, anything on them right now. We're gonna wait and season the soup once everything's in the pot. Okay, we're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna get these on. Uh. I'm gonna turn this way. One, one, one. There we go. It's that simple. The longest part of this video for me is just going to be waiting till these are done. We're at like two hours. Uh, we're gonna go check. But in the meantime, I did dice up some carrots, some bacon. I was going to roast some garlic, but I had some in the freezer, which I recommend you doing. So we're gonna throw that in as well. So let's go outside and uh, Try not to freeze. Ooh, onions look good. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. I'm going to give them another 15, 20 minutes. They're almost, almost done. Mmm, looks good. So I just pulled them. And uh, now we're going to get started on the rest of the soup. We are gonna start with some butter. I want flavor, so we're gonna use butter. Gonna throw the bacon in there. And I'm gonna throw the carrots in there just to get them going. So we're just gonna let this uh, soften up a little bit, get some color on these guys. Because I will be using the uh, immersion blender on this. I want this a very smooth soup. And if you're wondering, my brother makes these and spoons and other things, so I will put the link to his uh, website below, just if you're curious. I am going to throw in the uh, roasted garlic now. I just want it all in there. So I've got the, uh, the smoked onion here too. I'm just going to any really dark bits I'm gonna take off. And I'm just going to roughly chop this down and throw these into the pot as well. Also, one more thing we're gonna throw in. I've got these leftover just boiled potatoes. They're actually gonna help thicken the whole soup anyways. And they're leftovers, so let's dump them in and uh, just build the flavor here and just add to this soup. I'm just going to just roughly chop them. I just want them a little bit smaller. 
throw all this into the pot too. Get in there. And like always, if you don't like an ingredient or think you should add something else, by all means, this is my flavor profile, stuff I like. And there's one other thing we're gonna add. I like a curry flavor to my butternut squash soup. And there again, this is totally to taste. Get it in here, let it cook down a bit with everything. We're just gonna let this go a little bit longer and then get to the main ingredient. So the main ingredient, we've got the butternut squash. Uh, it's nice and soft. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Just get a nice spoon. And uh, start scraping it out and throw it into the pot. So while I fight with this, uh, I'm gonna get it done and everything in here. Okay, it's all in here. It doesn't look like a soup yet. Just hang on, we're almost there. That's all getting to know each other. And there's two more things that we have to add and let me go get them. I'm gonna use mushroom stock. I like this stuff, it tastes good. I think it suits this soup, so I'm using it. You could use a beef stock, you could use a vegetable stock whatever you had. Coconut milk. I love this stuff. Uh, you could use a heavy cream, you could use milk. You really don't need to worry about the coconut flavor. It really doesn't do much. You won't get that really. I just like it in soups and sauces. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna let it simmer now for a few minutes, let everything get to know each other, and then we're gonna use the immersion blender. So this is going along nicely. I'm gonna add the salt. I'm gonna use white pepper and just a touch of cayenne, and then we're gonna blitz it up. And this is just regular sea salt, and just a touch of cayenne, just, just to wake up the palate. Excited I am, it's time. Oh, it smells so good. Oh yeah, that's nice, I like that. You get a little hint of the curry, you get a little hint of the bacon in the background, all that smoked flavor, oh, it's so good. Just want to thank you guys all for watching. I hope you had fun. I really want you to try this. If you don't have a smoker, just do the same thing with the uh, butternut squash, but throw them in the oven. Roast them off and do it that way. It will still turn out really good. But smoking gives it that whole other flavor profile. It's not smoky like a brisket, but it has it there. It's in the undertones. Ugh. So good. Guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to go finish this off camera. And uh, see you soon. And happy eating.